right, in this video we're going to do some more practicing our transformations of parent functions, focusing mostly on e to the x and ln of x, because those are tricky, tricky, tricky. Uh, we'll start with one that's a little easier, though. So we have to, step one, identify our parent function. Parent function in this case is square root of x. And then we think about, what does that look like? Well, that graph is our swimmer's arm. If you do not have these parent functions memorized, you need to do flashcards, something. You have to know what they all look like without any transformations before you can do transformations. Um, so that's our swimmer's arm, square root of x. Now we need to identify our transformations in the order we do them. You always start at x and work out. If I gave you x, the first thing you would do would be to change its sign. So that is an inside function, and that means it's a horizontal flip. Horizontal, remember, is this way. So we're going not over the x-axis, which is the horizontal axis, but over the y. And so our graph looks like this instead. That's our horizontal flip. This right here is just the square root of opposite of x. Now our second transformation, so this is transformation 1, is the subtracting 2. This is outside, so this is... Um, vertical, which means we are going to go down two. So now I take this graph right here, that key point goes down two. Every point goes down two. So this point goes down two. This point goes down two. Every point goes down two, and I get this. Now, it notice in this case, it does not level off at the x-axis. This keeps going up forever. So let's look at this and let's think about what changed. Domain range, both neither. Domain was 0 and above. That has definitely changed. On this graph right here, there were no negative x's allowed. Over here, it seems to be all negative x's, so that has changed. How about my range? Range right here was 0 and above. Here, it is negative 2 and above. So in this case, both things changed. I did a horizontal and a vertical transformation, and there were transformations that actually changed domains and ranges. Okay, so here we're going with an e to the x plus 1. Here the fun starts. e to the x, our parent function, that's your step 1, identify that, goes through 0, 1, and has an asymptote, horizontal asymptote on the x-axis. Now, what is my transformation? I am not doing anything inside with this x, but it is an outside, so this is going to be up 1. What happens when I take this whole thing right here and I go up 1? I don't know if it's going to let me do all this at once. Yes, that goes up 1. Boom. The entire thing goes up 1. So this asymptote that was on the x-axis is now up 1 unit at y equals 1. So instead of y equals 0, my asymptote is y equals 1. This point right here that was at 0, 1 also moves up 1. And so now this is at the point 0, 2. And I still maintain my same shape. Things I want to make sure you draw. Draw me the asymptote. For sure. Draw the asymptote. Where does it go? And I want you to Label this point wherever it ends up. I'm, I will be looking for those things when I grade this benchmark. So what changed? Our original domain was negative infinity to infinity. I don't care what we did. Shifting, stretching, flipping, that will never change. So we know we haven't changed the domain, and we know it's not both. My range here was not including 0 to infinity. And now my range is not including 1 to infinity, so that actually did change. Okay, let's try another one. e to the negative x minus 3. Now, the negative in this case is inside. It's, you could think about putting parentheses there, and that is an inside negative. So that is a not a vertical, but a horizontal flip. So if I think about e to the x, which looks like that, then e to the opposite of x horizontally flips. Remember, horizontal is this way. We reflect that way. So I get a graph that looks like this. And then finally, my next transformation, this negative 3 is outside, and then we are subtracting 3, so my graph goes down 3. So I take this graph right here, which had this asymptote, and this point of 0, 1, and I go down 3. So instead of 
a horizontal asymptote at the x-axis right here, I take that and I bring it down three units to negative three. This point right here that was up at zero one when I started also goes down three units. One, two, three, and that is now right here. And in general, unless we do a vertical stretch or shrink, our asymptote and this point of interest will always be one unit apart. And there is my new graph. Now what has changed? Again, domain of e to the x is negative infinity to infinity. Domain cannot change. Range, 0 to infinity to start. Now it's negative, in, negative 3 to infinity. That changed. So that's some E stuff, and then we're going to look at its inverse, ln of x, so ln of x stuff. Parent function is ln of x. You must, you must, you must memorize. Since e to the x had the point 0, 1, ln of x has the point 1, 0. Switch your x and y. Since e to the x has the horizontal asymptote of y equals 0, ln of x has the vertical asymptote of x equals 0. And then we think about taking our e to the x and reflecting it over y equals x, and our graph does this. So this is our ln of x. Now, what are my transformations? Once again, we start right here with x, and our first transformation is this. Adding two inside, that's a horizontal, and it's going to shift left. Opposite, opposite, opposite. Horizontals are always opposite. So instead of going to the right, two, I go to the left two. This point that was at one zero goes to the left. And this asymptote also goes to the left one two. Oops, it didn't all go, but there it goes. And so this shifts over. So that's the first part. And now my next piece, so this is just ln of the x plus two. That's what that graph would look like. Finally, we are going to do the, this is outside of the ln function, vertical flip. So vertical flip is up and down, up and down. So this part that was down is now going to be, still going to go through there, but it's now going to be up. And this part that was up is now going to be down. And I still have my asymptote at negative 2. That's at negative 1. There's my graph. So what changed? The original domain was above 0. My new domain is above negative 2. That has definitely changed. So we know that the do domain has changed. So this is definitely out. Uh, range was negative infinity to infinity. Range was up and down forever. It is still up and down forever. The only thing that changed was my domain. All right, we have one more we're going to throw at you. ln of the opposite of x plus 3. Again, your parent function is ln of x. So I'm going to take this function right here, which you need to get memorized. And I'm going to do the negative inside is a horizontal transformation. So this comes over here. Here's my ln of the opposite of x right there. And then I take this new graph, and what does this do? So this is my horizontal flip. I work my way out. I do the ln. That's the parent. And then I go up 3. So I'm going to take this point, which is at negative 1, 0, and move it up 3 units. My asymptote is still right on the axis. And this now is my graph. Oops, this should look more like it follows that asymptote. There we go. All right, what has changed? Domain changed. Yes. Change changed? No. So only the domain changes.